Chandler is constructed of cubes of wavelength shifting plastic scintillator, 6 by 6 by 6 centimeters on a side. The cubes serve as the primary source of hydrogen targets for the neutrino interaction. In addition, there are thin sheets of lithium-6 loaded zinc sulfide scintillator. The sheets are for capturing and detecting neutrons. The cubes are arrayed in planes of 16 by 16. Scintillation light produced in the cube is captured by total internal reflection along the cube rows and columns and is read out on the surface of the detector. This fixes the location of an event within a single cube. Cube layers are separated by layers of the sheets. Reactor neutrinos are detected by a process known as inverse beta decay. An electron antineutrino interacts with a proton in the scintillator, producing a positron and a neutron. The positron deposits its energy promptly in the scintillator while the neutron bounces around for a while. Eventually, the neutron captures on a lithium-6 in the zinc sulfide, producing a triton and an alpha particle, both of which deposit their energy in the zinc sulfide. The light from a positron emitted by the cubes comes as a short burst. Then there's a gap in light production as the neutron bounces around. The light produced by a neutron capture in the zinc sulfide gets released over a longer time. This creates a unique identifier for the neutron capture. The coincidence of positron-like and neutron-like events in space and time is the signature of an inverse beta decay reaction. Light from the zinc sulfide is absorbed in the wavelength shifting cubes and re-emitted so that it can be captured by total internal reflection. The full Chandler detector is 16 by 16 by 16 cubes, which is one meter cubed and weighs about one ton.